G'day folks and welcome to the start of turn 5 of Salerno 43. We're up to the 13th of September. Uh, this day historically saw strong German attacks and the 82nd airdropped during the night. We have a couple of different replacements including the first uh, allied replacements coming up this turn. But the first we need to do is roll for the weather. So we'll make a D6 roll. It's a 2 which means the weather advances one. Rain turn, CRTs are shifted one to the left. Uh, this affects vehicle units and rivers. There are no air units available. There are no naval units available. There are no supplies for either side. So the allies are stuck on their zero. Uh, fortunately, I think most of our S uh, ASUs are available, minus that one under there. Uh, so, we have readied our air and naval units, we have adjusted supply points, we can go straight into the German player turn with their initial phase. Uh, they use their available supply points to flip their units, so let's spend one over here. And that may be about it. Now just a reminder, this Nebelwerfer formation here, they can fire each turn and they don't spend supplies to flip back over. So they can, they may as well fire away, fire away each turn because it does not cost supplies to flip back around. Uh, we place German reinforcements. Now we're looking at turn five. There's another big wave coming on. This is the, uh, kind of the last big wave. They've got another wave coming in in turn six, slightly smaller. Here's what we have coming in. And we've got south, 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 south and south. So all coming in from the south. Uh, followed six turns later by those allied eighth army. Um, reinforcements. So uh, what are we going to do? These are the 26 Panzer, which I said would come over on the left and kind of hold this area, whilst the 29th and the Falschemjäger, well, Falschemjäger might be in the middle here, uh, they just lost their other formation, uh, whilst the 29th will move into the valley in this area here. So let's go ahead and place them in their corresponding starting positions done and replacements okay we have one armor replacement uh, well isn't this good timing because we did take an armor loss last turn so we can replace them now it's uh <laughs> germans are pretty happy with that because this was the one that tried to advance the beachhead got smashed and pushed back and well they're now back up healthy again uh, now we can get to the movement phase, German movement phase. So we're going to start way down the south here. And this starts off camera, but you'll see it soon enough. We've got one, two, three, four, five, and five. Actually, five and five, blocking that main road. Oh, I'm going to move it further. One, two, three, four, five. Let's push right up there. Um, we, there's on there. If I just pull back one hex into the hills, let's check that weather effect as well. Um, there's a reminder on the weather chart, 22.4. I'll just remind myself what that actually is. 22.4, all combat one to the left. Vehicle units may not move across or attack, attack across unbridged river hex sides. Okay. Um, so they'll hold that position there. That's a, yeah, re-secure that front quite quickly. We now have this, these first Fallschirmjäger division regiments coming on. Um, where are we gonna place? I think we'll try and get them up here. So again, off camera, one, two, three. And they're gonna use extended movement to go. One, two, three. Three into there. Um, yeah, okay. I am a bit worried about this formation here. There's a big stack of Americans there. Um, right, let's see how far these guys can go. They can go more reinforcements. This is the 29th Panzer Grenadier. Um, one, two, three, four. Five, six, they can get all the way up to there. 
I just want to reconsider. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Extended movement, six and a half. I like that better. I'm then going to pull back their ASU, one space. Um, keep them a bit safe. I am going to relocate them back one space as well. Um, and I'm a bit worried about this situation around here. So pretty happy with those defenses there. That's basically a 10. I'm going to go one, two, three, because I'm leaving a Zokbon. Three and a third, and then into there. And they'll join them there. So that's a, a nice solid eight defense holding the center. Yeah, then we've got these guys. Now they can leave Butter Puglia if they want. They could retreat back. Is there an opportunity for a counterattack here? I could counterattack. So I've got 29th Panzer Grenadier, 29th here. If I just shift them one forward, I don't have elite units. I'd have, oh geez, not much. Eight on five, which would be one to one. Um, I could bring in artillery. Let's try it. Okay, so I'm going to move forward here. One, two, I'm going to, when I shift them, they are going to shift. Yeah, they'll stay there. Okay, they're going to be out of range, but I will have my armor. Okay, so I'm going to try and counterattack out of Battle Puglia on these, this formation here. They will move up to the line. Uh, we'll advance the Nebelwerfers, one hex. In the north, not much happening. It's a good static situation for the Germans. Uh, they're happy with everything up there. So now we move to the German combat phase. And we are looking just at the one combat pretty much here. And we have got, what did I say, eight on five, which is one to one. They're in the clear. We are going to throw in our core artillery. Um, and we have armor. So one to one goes up two to one, three to one. Ah, it's one to the left for range. So back down to two to one. And two to one. And that's it. So two to one, a roll of five is a DR2 result. So one two, uh, yeah, two that'll cross, defend across the river. Um, and we can advance. Um, I might just advance. Uh, this is interesting. Yeah, let's, let's advance down the valley. Let's push into here. Five, it's, if I, oh, I'm just worried about counterattacks because if I, yeah, let's advance to here. I do have armor. That's a defense of five. Yes, it's in the clear, but it creates a Zoc bond to protect Butterpuglia. So a good counterattack there has forced the allies away from Butterpuglia. It's just, and you know, they've captured half the valley, recaptured half the valley now. So it's gonna disrupt these American plans to attack out of, out of, out of the south, really. Um, no attack here, uh, no attack there, no attack there. So that's the end of German combat. Fairly straightforward, one combat taking place. We now go to the recovery phase. German units recover, remove markers, supply. Everyone's in supply. Spend SPs to flip ASUs. I believe, was it just the one? Yep, everyone's happy. Germans are doing pretty well. All right, we now move to the American turn. They have no uh, supply points left. They have no, oh, they do have reinforcements, sorry. Ah, one of them is an airdrop. Okay, so one goes to floating reserve. And then we have this uh, 82nd airborne airdrop. Uh, so special unit. Okay, so here it is. So um, the, this is the 504th 82nd. They can land anywhere within three hexes of a bridgehead unit. Three hex, within three hexes of a bridgehead unit. One, two, okay, well, we'll have pretty much um, 
That's not going to help me at all, is it? I can go one, two, three, land up here. Let's protect. Uh, yeah, let's land up here and protect our artillery. Okay, roll a dice to see if it lands safely. A two means it is it lands disrupted. Okay, so they land disrupted, but no worries. Uh, it seems a bit silly, but they can't go far within three hexes of a bridgehead unit. One, two, three, they could have landed along the front <laughs> anywhere. Um, they've got this little vicinity here but we've already had success. So maybe I'm ahead of schedule in the south here, I feel. It's, uh, I feel that's the only place where I am having some success as the allies. Uh, okay, so they've landed. Weather well, has no effect on their landing, by the way, as well. They have landed, reinforcements have landed, port supply, let's move this tank unit into here, and they'll, um, they, are, they are not disrupted. They are half efficiency for landing. Uh, and I think they get the one hex move as well. Okay. What else are the allies going to do? Okay, well now that our southern kind of push has been disrupted, can I try and put some more pressure on? Um, I can go one, two, three and combine on an attack. That would give me, uh, no, wouldn't change the odds much at all. Much at all. I can push down to here. I can do a tack move. I can tack move into the mountains, right? Yeah, I can tack move with infantry into the mountains. This is tricky because they can't draw supplies. It's not a great place to be. What I'm trying to do here is consolidate, consolidate. Not do piecemeal attacks one at a time, but um, concentrate my forces. So 36 division. Uh, Thirty-six, thirty-six. Okay, that gives me. They move that armor there. Attack move. Keep the engineers there. That gives me six, twelve, thirteen on four, three to one odds. Um, now I don't. I think I, this is karma. Armor. armor. Yeah, let's move this armor across to here like that. That gives me armor because that other armor can only be used on the defensive. Um, okay, so the Germans did push out here. And I said they've got a defense of five. Um, I'm going to have to shift the British around a bit. So I'm going to have to swing around there. We're going to move one formation in, but the tanks are going to come back to one, two, three, to there. We'll try and use the tanks more in the valley. They're of no use up in the hills. So good solid defense up here by the 46. 46 now coming down to help the 56 of the game. They were pushing north, now they've had to come back. Um, all right, what else do we have? I may as well push out from Salerno. I think nothing else happening up there. So really, I've got to get out of this valley. Um, I'm worried about this disrupted unit. Should I pull them back across the river? Oh, every time I, it's like one step forward, two steps back or... All right, these guys here, they're holding that victory point objective and they're strong here, 13. Um, do I shift them down to help in this attack or do I just maybe push north and create that yeah, Zoc bond or just stay there? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. This is, uh, there's not a lot of strength among these Americans. Um, this is all I've got. I mean, coming. Uh, what have we got here? I said 12. Um, they're across the river. It is one to the left, whatever happens. Uh, do I add another six? to the attack, uh, make it four to one. Um, I probably don't need to worry about that. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm kind of tempted to push out. Look, I'm gonna hold with six 
and then I'm going to push out one, two into there with that, that, that formation. Okay. All right, now combat. Um, uh, going to launch an attack here, and I said this was six. This is with the 36th Division. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, sixteen on four is sixteen on four is four to one. Um, but not a lot of modifiers. No armor in the hills. No air support. No divisional. Oh wait, we can have uh, divisional artillery support. So I'll fire my artillery to make it five to one. Actually, I probably don't need it. I'm going to save that. I've got four to one. On armor, what do they get? They get they, they they don't get a tank shift, no air support, and it's raining. So one to the left. So I'm send a three to one. A three to one six is a D one result. So they suffer a step loss. They're a one step unit. Um, D one. Uh, the attacker three hexes with mech, two hexes with non mech. So here we go. Um, uh, everyone participated, so they will advance. This is two hexes with non-mech. So I can go change direction. I could move into there, but I'm worried about supply. So if I just go here, and I can leave... Um, that's my puppy dog. She's got a kind of squeaky toy. All right, so one to consolidate here. Two to advance to there. This group will advance to there. To... Put a lot of pressure on the Germans, I hope. Okay, no combat, no combat, no. Do I attack the city? Okay, uh, if I attack with a 56, I've got 10, and then they're all 50. Oh no, so 10, 13, 14, 15, uh, 15, maybe one to one. Ooh, one to the left. Oh, hold on, this was, what did I say? Did I do. Yeah, I went four to one down to three to one because of rain. That'll be one to one, then you go down to one to two, which wouldn't be great odds. So no more combat for the allies. Um, <laughs> dog squeaking away. Recovery phase. Allied units not adjacent become recovered. These guys have to roll for it. They need a five or a six. They fail, so they're still disrupted. Uh, check supply. Everyone's happy with supply. No ASUs, that's the end of the turn. Ah, oh, they get replacements, so I didn't do, sorry. I didn't do my replacements. Um, so let's bring one back. And let's bring, can I bring my ASU back? I'll double check that. Uh, oh no, wait, so it had, to be, it had to be an infantry, an American infantry. A British infantry. So there we go. One step, one step. Uh, yeah, okay, that sounds good. And they go back into floating reserve because I believe they go back into floating reserve. Um, replacements, replacements, replacements. Uh, units returning. Uh, the floating reserve. Fifth army units. Yes, they go back into floating reserve. Okay, folks, that's the end of turn five. We're now heading into turn six. 14th of September. Kind of a mixed story. I mean, the Germans still hold the valley. Americans pushing into the hills, which is kind of good news. Um, the more they push into these hills, the more it kind of threatens these German lines. But we'll see how long they can keep that up. Thank you, folks, for watching, and uh, we'll be back soon.